Thanks for watching AIM Northwest this morning. Well, are you tired of looking in the mirror at the fine lines and wrinkles, but still not sure Botox is the answer? Here to answer your concerns about Botox, we welcome back from Aesthetic Medicine, Dr. Jerry Darm. Good to see you, Dr. Jerry. Nice Dr. to see Darm. you, too. I said Dr. Jerry. That's okay. Okay, Dr. Jerry, we'll all continue right, on right. that theme then. Are there people that are afraid of Botox, and if so, why? Well, Botox is a toxin. It's botulinum toxin. In, in, in the old times, you know, fruit that had been canned had botulinum toxin. People actually died if they ingested it. Mm -hmm. But the dosages that we're using are so small and they're so localized and they're gone in four hours. So seeing uh, adverse reactions to Botox is extremely rare. Have you seen any? Uh, maybe one allergic reaction out of 100,000 wow. uh, injections, maybe. Okay, let's you know? talk about um, what areas you think are best to inject where it well, really makes the, a difference. Well, the, the furrows, the between 11s, the brows. right, between the brows, We're basically. We're taking a look at here, before and after. And yeah, yeah then, uh, and, and that area can be treated very nicely. And that's the area that we also treat for migraines. In other words, you can actually, about 85% of the time, you can uh, reduce migraines by injecting in that particular area. Now, very I understand, too, that sometimes, even long after the, you've had the injection, you still you you forget to do that as in you you don't create that line anymore um, we see that patients really have to do it really about work every yeah every three months okay. the rare patient who can focus every day every minute on not frowning yeah. is rare it's so much easier just to do the Botox every three months then and you don't frown anymore um, also you have the, uh, the crow's feet the crow's feet is, is a second area uh, that we commonly inject and uh, it, you know, Botox is for wrinkles in motion. It's wow, not, what a big difference. Yeah, not, not so much for wrinkles at rest, but for wrinkles in motion. And of course, you oh, know, that makes sense. the other area is the forehead, the common area is the forehead uh, that's done. So those are the, probably the three most common areas. You can inject uh, in the lower uh, area of the face to uh, help alleviate frowning. Right. You know. That, so you said the, the injections usually last around three months, is that correct? Right around three months, anywhere from two to four months. And do you basically. see results immediately or does it take a little bit? Uh, it usually takes a couple of days. Um, I have one patient, as she walks out of the, of the office, she gets her, her results. So it, Everyone's you know, just a little bit different. Everybody's a little different. Let's talk about fillers and how they work. Fillers, uh, in the last 10 years or so, uh, the drug companies have come up with uh, uh, hyaluronic acid which is exactly what is in your collagen. In other words, it's a bioidentical product oh, okay. that can be injected into the face. And the areas that are commonly done are here. We're taking a look at a picture right now. So here's a before. Right. And wow. you can see what can be done. And right. also, uh, this particular patient had injections into the so-called marionette lines, which oh, go right. down from, from the corners. Lips. Yeah, from the corners of the mouth uh, down. And those can be injected. And how long does does a filler last? Uh, fillers last up to uh, two years. Uh, the 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 common ones last probably six months to a year, basically. And right. are there any side effects? Again, extremely rare. Maybe one in thirty thousand patients will have a reaction or allergic response. And is this something you can do, both do uh, the Botox and the fillers in a lunch break? Um, pretty much. Uh, the, the Botox, very, very rare to have, uh, you know, again, any side effects. And right. usually within a half an hour, you're look back to looking normal. Right. Uh, sometimes with the fillers, you can get some swelling or bruising occasionally. So you want to give yourself a little time. Yeah, give yourself a little time. But usually the swelling will last for just a few days, basically. Oh. All right. And I know that you give free consultations. And so for everyone who'd like to find out more, contact Aesthetic Medicine in Lake Oswego, 503-697-9777. We'll put all the information on our website at ke2.com. Thank you, Thanks. Dr. Jerry. Thank you. <laughs>